Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. It's Saturday night which means it's craft beer night. And the beer we're going for tonight is from Vocation Brewery. It's this one. It is their Sweet Temptation, otherwise listed as Naughty and Nice Chocolate Stout. Uh, it's described as smooth, caramel and sweet. It weighs in at 6.6% ABV and if that sounds a little bit familiar to you, it's possibly... The same beer that they did in collab with Brew York a while ago, but this one is completely and utterly uh, vocation branded and they appear to have gone it alone. Uh, so, yeah, it says on the side that it's bold and beautiful beer for the many. Uh, store cool, drink fresh, pour carefully, all that jazz. Tasting notes are smooth, caramel, and sweet. And it says, Our classic velvety chocolate stout meets luscious caramel in a harmonious swirl of sweetness that oozes decadence. A rich roasted malt base layered with sweet sticky caramel and silky chocolate. A sweet temptation that is impossible to resist. And not only are we sampling the beer tonight, we're going to do it through the uh, the Nitro Surge just for the crack. Uh, it's not a Nitro beer, we're just going to see if it does anything. Um, so without further ado, let's get it out and pour some into a glass before throwing it through the Nitro. Now the glasses we're going to use are identical bar one tiny detail, uh, and that's the print. Uh, they're both my favourite glasses for pouring stouts. It's my Titanic goblet. This one has got a bit of the seam, uh, sorry, the bit of the wire missing. So we're gonna pour regular into there. Not gonna pour nuts. Look at that. It's got a glorious, a glorious head on it. Even though it's not nitro, it's dark. It's roasted. The head is nice and tan. It's got a good roll to it, suggests good body. Looks good, doesn't it? Let's be honest, it does. So, that's that one. And we're going to see if adding the Nitro Surge does anything in particular. So we're going to line it up. Like so. We're probably voiding the warranty because Guinness say, Thou shalt not put anything other than Guinness through it. That would turn it on. A little hark is doing its thing, and we're going to pour into my otherwise identical glass, like so. Does it do anything? Let's find out. Seemingly doing something. I'm going to be honest, it does. It does. The head is stupidly tight and compact. So this one is nitroed, nitro surge. Look at that, it's tight, it's compact. Whereas that one with a bit of a harder pour is, uh, is looser, but otherwise, look at this, the, the lacing is about the same. Sticks a little bit more with this one, the Nitro Surged version. Otherwise, they look the same. So yes, we're going to say it does Nitro Surge quite well. It does something. So let's have a sniff of both of them. Deep, dark, roasted. Good, intense chocolate on it. Hints of burnt caramel. And I expect this to be exactly the same. Could be that I'm nose blind, but... It seems a little bit smoother. Wow, it is. It is different. Yeah, this one with a tighter head is much, much smoother on the nose. Much less in your face. You get less of the bitterness. That's crazy. I did not expect that. Uh, whereas this one, but it hasn't been nitroed. The aroma is more pungent. It's more intense. Did not expect that in any way, shape, or form. Uh, maybe the tighter head is just holding everything in. Who knows? Anyway, they look good. They smell great. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Body is medium weight. Carbonation is very, very light, very smooth. And the flavour is delicious. You've got beautiful milk chocolate. You've got a roasted malt sitting behind that that's, that gives off coffee vibes. And the caramel is... It's kind of butterscotchy. It's been a long time since I had the, uh, the original one with Brew York. But um, I don't remember it much. 
but I, I'm enjoying what I've got here. It's quite bitter. It's not as sweet as the name would suggest. There is an intense roasted malt flavour to it, and I really appreciate that. That's what I like in my stouts. And, uh, yeah, it's good. Very good. It's like liquid milk chocolate in your mouth in terms of the body and the mouthfeel overall. The flavours are delicious as the same. The finish is where a lot of that intensity comes. It's sweeter up front and then it just builds in bitterness and roasted nature. That's good. That's very good. I like that a lot. And just, just for the just for humour's sake, we're gonna have a sip of the uh, the nitro surge one. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, the smell is different. The appearance of the head is different. But the flavour and the, the mouthfeel and everything is exactly the same. So, carefully place those on there. And we're going to go to the scoreboard of joy for fun, which is currently void of anything. So, with a red pen of judgment at the ready, let's give it some points. And uh, we're going to... We're going to take the... We're going to take the top off and try not to spill anything everywhere because it has a habit of doing so. And we're going to re pour into the non nitro one. So, to top it off, it's dark, it's roasted, it's got a glorious tan head to it. It looks the part as any good stout should. Any reason to give it anything less than a point? Not really, no. Not at all. Uh, the aroma. I prefer the aroma of the naturally poured beer. Um, it's intense. It's chocolatey. It's roasted. It's bitter. It's got coffee vibes. And it has got like a butterscotch caramel <gasps> Excuse me, note to it. I like the aroma a lot. It's good strength to it. It's having a point. And the body, uh, for, for a beer that sits at 6.6%, it's, it's about where it should be. You know, medium, silky smooth in the mouth. Carbonation is spot on. Yeah, it's having a point. And the flavour. It's not as sweet as it makes out. Um, and, and like I say, I cannot remember uh, the, the Sweet Temptation collab with Brew York at all. But this one starts out sweet, chocolatey, a little bit of the caramel, and then it's just straight into those deep, rich, roasted flavours. And that I like. I prefer my bit, my out it's more bitter and this kind of goes into a crescendo of bitterness nicely and it's having a point and the same with the finish i like my finishes to be bitter roasted long malty and this is all of that but it's got a little side of chocolate for good measure so yeah it's having a full point uh, which means that it has got a full five out of five so we're going to go to the bonus points we're going to start at the bottom and work up would i buy it again Yes, I would. On the evidence of this, I absolutely would. Value for money. I got this on the four for three offer in Morrison, so it was not a lot of money at all. Um, about three fifty a can, otherwise, if you buy it on its Todd. Uh, bonus points. Is it one of the best stouts I've had this year? I haven't had that many. Um, I can't remember at all the score, and, and I, I purposefully didn't revisit it on Untapped just to see. Um, because I didn't want to bias this one in any way, shape, or form. It's good. It is good. I'm not quite sure it's bonus point ready, though. Um, it's it's very good, though. Like I say, it's got a full five out of five. It's, it ticks all the boxes. I just I just don't have the confidence to give it a full bonus point. Um, so it's got five out of five with two bonuses for good measure. So there we go. So uh, to answer the first question... Yes, it does nitro surge quite well. Makes a difference to the aroma. Did not expect that. Makes no difference at all to the bit that matters, which is the flavour and the drinking experience. So that's, yeah, it's a 50-50. It does nitro surge, delivers nicely, doesn't affect the flavour. The beer itself is delicious. If you like a sweet stout, couldn't think of the word there, a sweet stout that fades into a glorious bitterness, then this beer is absolutely one you should try. Um, 
if you prefer it sweet throughout, you might be a little bit disappointed. This one is a builder. Uh, it grows in terms of the bitterness, and I really, really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, it's just another great beer to add to the vocation stable uh, in the brewery. They don't make really a bad beer at all, let's be honest. And, uh, and it's good value for money, so it's win-win for me. We're going to leave it there and say, that has been the beer. I've been me. Those down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got your like, comment, dislike, and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. And I'll see you again soon for another one. Bye for now.